So, Sleepy Joe. <laughs> I, I, you know, uh, I understand that most people are followers. That's the way of the world. But isn't there a point to where you are thinking? is clearly off. I have told my wife a few times now that her then seven-year-old son could create sentences finish them and not say anything stupid better than Joe Biden I have never heard such dumb shit in my life when right before Trump was elected I laughed I was like wow really <laughs> I was like, wow, Trump really, that he's our president. Oh my God. And it was funny, right? But now my thinking is, if Trump don't get elected in November, we're screwed. And, and I don't mean just taxes screw I I don't mean just uh, same shit different politician type shit if they get a Democrat in office and our house is a majority of Democrats you will be living in a communist United States. And that, my friends, is no joke. Tim Pool's podcast today referred to somebody saying that the left, the liberals needed to do away with the Constitution altogether. Create something new. do know that with a new world order comes the Antichrist. Shouldn't be that hard to find to you know figure that one out. You know one leader, one world. Because like it or not, uh Earth is Satan's domain. It's his until Jesus comes and takes it back. So all these political games that are being played are chess moves in a game half people don't even believe being played. When I hear people, and when I hear these Democrats talk about their promises to the people, I never hear one solution. I never hear one solution come out of their mouth. The only thing that I hear come out of their mouth is the same thing that you've heard come out of Democrats' mouth for the three years. Trump ad. Here, man, bad.
It is ridiculous. And what's what's even more fucked up is that the last the last true president that we had was JFK. And they showed not just America, but the world. What happens when you go against the grain? They've showed Martin Luther King, Bobby Kennedy, I was a Democrat for 36, 37 years, and my basic beliefs as a Democrat was that being a Democrat meant that I am a free American, but I also empathize and sympathize with those who either agree or disagree. We need the Democratic Party and we need the Republican Party. We need them to offset each other, to bring balance to justice. This is not happening. It hasn't been happening. Trump never got a chance. I feel the man should get an extra three years for what he had to endure from the left. Dr. Jordan Peterson, one of the smartest men that I have ever listened to. said that it is it is extraordinary and amazing that we live in a world to where every day people are not just running amok and killing everything and raping everything and pillaging everything think about that because that's the way it used to be we live in a world now where it's not like that. But now it's starting to be that way. And I don't know how it's going to play out because I'm really not a politician. But I am a Christian. And I do know me as a Christian, I have to be prepared. I have to be prepared for the inevitable. And when I say the inevitable, Christians know what I mean. The persecution of Christians is starting to happen. Um, Christians are evil because Christians value the life of a baby over the life of a mother, which isn't true. We value both lives. We think they're both special, both important, and they are, and they shouldn't be separated. That's the point. God said, go forth and prosper. procreate have children he didn't say murder them as a matter of fact one of his commandments is thou shalt not kill now if me standing up for what I believe in makes me the bad guy then maybe we are rebels 
maybe that's the way that it's going to turn. It's the only way it can. You have to play the Bible against itself because the Bible is perfect. The Bible, the Word of God is perfect. The Bible may not be perfect because it was written by man, but the Word is perfect. So, the world will hate us because we're judgmental. And in a, in a way, they're right. Uh, a lot of Christians do judge. And it's not our place to judge. It's our place to hate the sin and love the sinner. That's our place. So it's our own weaknesses and our own faults that the devil uses against us. Okay? None that he has to create. He doesn't have to create evil thoughts in your head. They're already there. He can push them along. The devil has no more power than what you give him. And right now, he's got a lot of power. I wanted to do a longer video. But I've got to go check on an uncle. I will be back later. As a matter of fact, I may do a little bit on the way back to town. God is love, y'all.